So what is a millennium all about? What is a millennial reign all about? Do I believe that the millennial reign started when Jesus was resurrected? No. Okay, and it actually does start when he was resurrected because, first of all, he is the first fruits of them that slept. And, of course, in Revelation 20, verse 5, when it says this is the first resurrection, the first resurrection is Jesus Christ, and we are partakers of that resurrection. And let's go to the Bible and find out why. So Revelation 20 tells us that when the millennium starts, there's an angel that comes. No, that's not true. He says when the millennial starts. Listen to him. Why? So Revelation 20 tells us that when the millennium starts, there's an angel that comes down from heaven. No, that's not what it says. He's saying when the, millennial, when the millennium starts, the angel comes down from heaven. That's not what this is saying at all. The angel is coming down to show John of this vision, this particular vision, and this goes all the way back to Revelation chapter 1. All right, John is being shown a vision. This is not saying when the thousand years starts, an angel will come down from heaven. That's not accurate at all. Never to exist again. Paul also talks about how the second coming and the resurrection of the righteous, that is what kickstarts the millennial reign. That's not what Paul says at all. The only time in the entire Bible you get this idea of a thousand years is in Revelation 20. And this thousand years is from the time of Jesus to the time of his promised return. We are partakers of of his resurrection that's why it's called a thousand years we are born of the Spirit of God it's a very unique time period in which we have eternal life right now those of us that are born of God alright now it's gonna come to an end we have eternal life right now we will never die all right, but it's coming to an end when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven and we are changed in a moment. In the twinkling of an eye, we are, go from being mortal to immortal. Now think about this. John 11, verse 26. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? Right now, if you are born of the Spirit of God, you will never die die. Now compare that with Revelation 20 verse 6. Blessed and holy is he that has part in the first resurrection. On such the second death has no power. But they shall be priests of God and of Christ and shall reign with him a thousand years. Right now we are priests of God and of Christ. Right now. Right now. We are a royal priesthood right now.